गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट कार्ट कल्चर मेथड एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो स्पेसिफिकली वी विल टॉक अबाउट पॉली कल्चर मेथड्स पॉली कल्चर मेथड इज अ मेथड वेर यू कैन रेज मल्टीपल कार्ट स्पीसीज in a single pond and it helps in efficient utilization of resources and maximizes the production so many species of fish could be cultured in a same pond it helps you to utilize the resources properly and the production would be more so we will see the steps of this polyculture methods first is species selection okay so katla rohu and mrigal they are chosen for polyculture method due to their complementary feeding habits what does that mean basically katla is the surface feeder that means it takes food preferably from the surface of the pond rohu is the column feeder that means it finds its food in the middle of the pond and mrigal is the bottom feeder that means it gets it uh, its food from bottom of the pond that's why they could be cultured in the uh, same pond next is stocking density so it is crucial to avoid overcrowding and ensure optimal growth for these calves a uh, stocking density of 5000 to 6000 fingerlings per hectare is common so uh, it should be noticed that the density of the baby fishes should not cross 5000 to 6000 per hectare next is pond preparation so first of all weeds have to be removed from ponds and the ph of water should be 7.5 to 8 and to maintain that ph lime is added in the pond temperature should be 25 to 33 degrees celsius dissolved oxygen hardness alkalinity turbidity of water uh, these all should be maintained next is feeding management so organic or chemical manure is applied to develop the fish food organisms like phytoplankton and zooplankton phytoplankton zooplankton these are basically uh, food of the fish and organic manure such as urine cow dung pig dung poultry manure plant manure these are uh, used and supplementary feed like rice bran and oil cake these are also provided to enhance growth rates next is spawning because of constant temperature and favorable weather conditions carp spawn all the year round in india so spawning takes place early in the morning when the water surface cools down to 18 degrees celsius female carp swims near the water surface followed by the male carp and both rub each other's bodies and female lay eggs and male releases sperms and eggs are fertilized so 3 days after fertilization eggs begin to hatch uh, the newly hatched larvae settle on the bottom of the pond on the second day larvae start swimming and on the third day they swim actively from surface to bottom and last step is harvesting so intermediate harvesting is done to manage the number of fish and ensure optimal growth this involves selectively removing some fish to reduce competition for food and space so few fishes could be removed from the pond uh, and they are harvested in this way so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video 